It's been so long since we've had Jackie Montgomery in the studio. Jackie, where have you been? <laughs> I have been um, busy making the Hilton Garden Inn um, in Indiana a uh, great place to come and eat and stay. You've done the job. Thank you. My goodness, is it nice over there. And uh, this, is, this is a big day for you. By the way, uh, Jackie joined in the studio by Angela Keller. Hello. Also from the Hilton Garden Inn. How are you? Hi, I'm well. How are you? Wonderful. It's good to have you both with us here today. And you did not just come yourselves. You came bearing gifts. <laughs> we did. Yeah. And and for a specific reason, I was reading about this. Mm-hmm. Um, it, Hilton Inns are celebrating 100 years. Yeah. The um, Hilton as a whole, the umbrella brand, is um, celebrating their 100th anniversary. Mm-hmm. So 100 years of hospitality. Um, so we came bearing gifts um, from that era, which is the uh, the Palmer House Brownie, um, yeah. iconic to the Palmer House in Chicago. Now tie that in. How does okay. how does the tie in between the brownies and and the original recipe and, and all of this? How does it all come together? Well, um, it was so uh, there was a Bertha Palmer actually. Um, that is where the original brownie recipe came from. Um, in about eighteen. 18- I want to say 93, um, decided that she was going to put this recipe together for the World's Fair. Mm-hmm. Um, since that time, that's when it came out. And then um, they still use that recipe today at the Palmer House in Chicago. Wow. Yes. Wow. And these brownies here, are they that recipe too, Angela? They are. They yeah. are. Our Chef Caleb um, came up with that. Um, it put a little bit of a twist on it. I think the original recipe to make it true CH Fields, Hilton mm-hmm. Garden in Indiana, um, twist, but they are definitely an ode to the original. I have to confess to both of you ladies that um, uh, every single time we go to the KCAC to to watch IEP play ball, somehow our, we make a left turn. <laughs> <laughs> and we end up at C.H. Fields. That's great. Why we is like that, that. Angela? Yes. Why, why don't we do It's wonderful. The pool of the, the, the smell and the, uh-huh. the appearance of the building is is undeniable. The and that's what we like to food. hear. Exactly. <laughs> the promise of the oh, taste man. of the food inside. That's fantastic to hear. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, the Reuben for me. It's the Reuben. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Gotta have that. That's Reuben. a favorite for a lot of folks. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. Now, Jackie, um, the Hilton Garden Inn has been open for, what, two or three years? Um, so we opened November 1st, 2016. So, so three years, mm-hmm. coming up on three years. Yeah. That is such an amazing place. You have to be very, very proud to be associated with it, number one, but there you are steering the ship. Um, yes, I was I was very um, fortunate to um, start on the ground level when the building um you know, was was being created as the director of sales. And um, since then, uh, they decided I was doing an okay job. So I've I've been able able to to continue there, and I'm very happy about it. Well, what are some, because you've been involved in this industry for a long time, and Angela as well, what are some of the great things about the Hilton Garden Inn that maybe people don't know as much about as they should? Oh, what are some of those big drawing cards? It's the people, the people we have. Our team is... Like I mean, like none other. Jackie looked this morning, and what what are we ranked? Uh, out we of? are number fourteen. That's one four out of seven hundred and twenty Hilton Garden Inns in the world. Wow! Yeah, in Indiana, and number shoot. fourteen in three years. <laughs> yeah, and we um, you know, that's it's basically based on data. Not to get too boring about it, but um, you know, we ask the people that stay with us what their favorite part of the building is, and it's always staff, staff staff oh, and yeah. more staff yeah. and then the food but <laughs> <laughs> food plays a role <laughs> all right tell me about random acts of hospitality because that's a, really what you're all involved in today yes um so for the um 100th anniversary celebration of hilton um hilton really believes in random acts of kindness they believe that that is something that really makes the world go round um i agree um so what we're doing today is we're going to be bringing some some bright um, brightness and cheeriness and um, some some goodies to some of the people that make this community a better place to live. Mm-hmm. So you're going to be all over the county today, <laughs> aren't you? It was yeah. hard to narrow down the list, quite <laughs> honestly. <laughs> well, you, you came here first with the brownies, and now everybody else that isn't going to get brownies, they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're going to be very jealous. <laughs> well, they can they can stop in CH Fields anytime this week, because we'll uh-huh. be celebrating 100 years all week with uh-huh. some great drink specials at CH Fields, and also 
our awesome brownies. Um, okay. A brownie Sunday, I think, is what we're doing Ooh. for the dessert special all week. So yeah. if we don't see you today, then stop in and yeah. uh, check it out this week. So I have a big list over here of places that you're going to go. Mm-hmm. Is that all today, or are you going to spread it out over the week? No, that's today. That's today. <laughs> yeah. We consider that work. Do we you... consider being kind to people work, so that's what we're doing. But you consider finding parking to be work, because that's just my... So you're going to, over to IRMC to the emergency room. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to be at the IUP police station. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going down Philadelphia Street to the Indiana Fire Association. Mm-hmm. Uh, downtown Indiana's office. Well, that's just across the street from here, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not quite the walk. Uh, the Borough Police Office, um, the CEO, the Center for Economic Opportunities mm-hmm. or Operations. I'm not sure mm-hmm. operations. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce, Citizens Ambulance on West Pike, State Police on 286, S&T Bank on Oakland Avenue. All of those places today, yeah. you're just like little elves, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. little brownie yeah. elves. The, the little Hilton Garden <laughs> elves are are in in. In transit today, doing all of these things, yes. uh, but there is a serious element to it that these mm-hmm. are the people who are always there for us and are willing yeah. to put themselves on the line for us, mm-hmm. and this is a way to say thanks. Exactly. Um, when we were trying to, you know, think about exactly how we wanted to present um, ourselves to the community, um, we decided that that was the best way to do it because a lot of times, um, you know, people don't get thanked the way that they should. So. Yeah. So we want to do that. Today. It's a nice thing. It's yeah. a nice thing. Angela, I want to talk to you as, uh, because you're in sales. Mm-hmm. Uh, and here you are right next to the KCAC. And people might think, okay, basketball season's over. True. Maybe there's not a concert, a big concert coming this summertime. But there are all kinds of things going on at the KCAC, conventions and yeah. other types of meetings. And uh, you get to, to play a role in a lot of that, don't we you? We do. We do. Um, we, I mean, specifically if obviously they're coming in from out of town, we're offering them a place to rest their head at night. Mm-hmm. Um, but for these shows and such, um, before before we offer a great place to have dinner, as you mentioned. Um, we also do some stuff at the hotel um, on our own. We have a great beer pairing dinner coming up at the end of June, um, which is a really cool event. We did one in March that was a big success, bacon and beer. This um, this June it's going to be more um, summer foods paired with beer. Mm-hmm. We're doing that in partnership with Holiday Beverages. Um, but yeah, we always have something fun going on. There's great um, great dinner specials, really great lunch menu. Um, there's always something going on at the hotel. That's terrific. It's terrific. Well, ladies, thank you so much for coming in and allowing us to be a part of your celebration of 100 years of Hilton, three of which are you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Uh, Thank it's, you. It's, it's wonderful that you came. I went and got my teeth cleaned at the dentist yesterday. Yeah. So I'm going really to pollute them with some brownies right now. Yeah. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160 and 101.1 FM. 21 minutes after 9 o'clock, Boomer and the Sports Minute coming up.